Hey, you to watch. We're going to close out the show trying to help you to keep from getting scammed. I know it's so frustrating that some people just sit around and, and try to take advantage of others, but it does happen. I'm here with Simone Williams of the Better Business Bureau, and we're going to talk a little bit about how our, our senior citizens really need to be careful because there are lots of scams for them. Thank you so much, Simone, for coming on the show. Hi, Keisha. Thank you for having me. Okay, well, give me the, the lowdown. What's the deal? What are How are people um, trying to scam our older Americans? Well, scams against older, um, older adults generate billions of dollars each year for criminals. The age group is often targeted because scammers think older adults trust more readily and are easier to persuade. However, according to our BBB risk report, that's not necessarily the case. No age group is immune to scams, but together we can stop fraud against older adults. Well, that's exactly what we want to do. Are there tips um, from the Better Business Bureau on your website or anywhere for not just older Americans, old, older adults, but for all of us to help us to avoid this type of thing? Yes, um, if you go to BBB.org, BBB has a new resource hub for older adults and their caregivers that has information on how to spot a scam targeting older adults, know the warning signs, tips for caregivers, and how to file a complaint, read reviews, and so much more. I mean, there's so much money being, you know, taken away from from our family members through these type of things. Um, are there any examples? Are there, you know, examples on your website of things that perhaps a scammer might try to try or, you know? Absolutely, yes. According to our 2021 BBB Scam Tracker Risk Reports, older adults who reported to BBB stated they lost an average of $200. Um, some of these scams that people just, you know, commonly don't think about. Um, I have a list. So, for example, romance and sweetheart scams. And so we know about romance. You know, unfortunately, during the pandemic, everyone was lonely. It didn't just, uh, it just didn't affect, you know, young adults. Older adults were out there lonely and they were seeking companion. And so, you know, they would go online, meet this person, and all of a sudden this person is talking, and, you know, saying all the right things. And the next thing you know, hey, I have this emergency and I need some money. So that's one thing. Another thing is government imposter scams. And we're seeing an uptick on that. And no government entity will call you unsolicited. You will never like get a phone call from the government saying you need to do this and you need to do it immediately. And you know, that, that just pulls on people's emotions and they're like, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. So no, you don't, you can always sit and be like, hey, can I take your name? What um, what is your you know, your title? What who are you representing? And then let me just do my own research. And if the person on the other line is saying, no, 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 you have to do this right now, just hang up. Uh -huh. Another one is family emergencies. Uh, during the summer, uh, grandkids, nieces, nephews, they're going on vacation and they're saying, hey, you know, I'm out here, out of the country, and then something happens to me. They're calling their grandparents. And some of these scammers have gotten so slick that they're starting to sound like the grandchild or the niece or nephew. And so again, this is one of the things that scammers are pulling on heartstrings and making, making it sound like you gotta do it right now. That might be one of the, you know, red flags. Whenever it's urgent, 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 you've gotta do it right now. No, I can't wait an hour. No, I can't wait for you to call me back. That's probably uh, the biggest, you know, red flag that people need to watch. Right, yeah, if, you, if they're yeah. saying you had to do this by tomorrow or you should have done this yesterday, that's definitely a red flag. Yeah. And last, um, is online purchasing. Everybody does online shopping. If you see something that everybody has, but you're, you know, it normally retails for like hundreds of dollars and you're seeing it for a dollar, <laughs> that, is a, that is a red flag. That is, okay, A, I'm not going to get this product and B, they're just trying to get my information. My credit card number. Thank you so Absolutely. much. You're so right. Oh my gosh, some of these things I haven't even ever thought about. Um, but each of us needs to take the time to learn what the signs are and learn the warning signs so that we're not caught um, off of guard. Not just our seniors, but each and every one of us. Simone, thanks. It's always a pleasure to have you guys on the show. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. 
you, you'd be surprised at how these scammers are working and how they're trying to manipulate our, our family members. Um, and, and each and every one of us needs to be a little more cautious when it comes to how we spend our money and how we spend our time online and on the telephone. Take the opportunity to go to the business, Better Business Bureau website, look at some of these tips, look at some of these scenarios to make sure that we are being as careful as possible.